warning, the people in this show are trained, uh, scared, scared boy professionals, and they know how to deal with scary things. But if you don't, and you're under the age of 13, and you get scared easily, don't watch it. Thanks. Who the fuck do you think you should show it to? <laughs> God, I hate it. I despise <coughs> with all of my heart. I fucking hate Monica. She just talks. Fuck. Hi, Captain. Fuck off. Yeah. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform Just at a festival? read my poem, bitch. Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Yeah, fuck you. But whatever you do, I'll make sure... I'm sure it'll turn out great. I'll make sure it turns out great! <laughs> <laughs> it would also make me happy to I see... I give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, let's look at today's poem. <laughs> Sure, I better keep it put it in the hands. Mm. Sticking it, sticking with the Natsuki style once more, I see. Hmm. You really like Natsuki, don't you? Oh, that's. Oh, come, come on, Captain. It's obviously suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the classroom every day, pretending to like the manga she's into. Bitch, you know how Natsuki is. She'll <laughs> end up hating me. Oh shit. But, but watch, she's listening. How much you want to bet? Why do you have to say uh, that? That's not how I feel. Why do you have to say that? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Captain. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So, I just need to ask one thing of you. No, I will not have your children. Do you know, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. The fuck? Dude, when this episode comes out, that means it's going to be so dead. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of times, she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not even know how to handle her own feelings She's properly. She's like a month younger than you. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens, then it could end up damaging the club too. He wouldn't want to do that to me. I don't right? give a fuck what happens to you. The, oh, that's, that's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her in the club, it's also um, kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. No, I'll do what the fuck I want to do. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway, she's I'll, share my, <laughs> I'll share my poem with you now, alright? I don't right? want to fucking read it. Err. Alright. Lady knows everything. An old tale to the lady <laughs> wanders earth. Lady knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever thought. And here I am. A, a feather. With <laughs> more... Lost to drift the sky, victims of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Till one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and I fall. And fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah that's a completely... You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical yeah, too or anything. Late, bitch. You did that on purpose. But it was kind of my thing, so that's what I wrote about. I see. <laughs> I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. I don't give a bug. Because if we all have the answers. Hey, Yuri, can I borrow your thorns? <laughs> the thorns. <laughs> <laughs> because if we all had the answers, wouldn't, it, uh, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Sure. You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, 
we wouldn't have really have anything to write about, would we? That doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Humans are two-dimensional creatures. Yeah, aren't you're like aren't. an eighth-dimensional creature. <laughs> Get it? Because they are two-dimensional creatures because <laughs> we're looking at them on the screen. I think you'd know better than anyone. You mean you... one-dimensional? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> Get it? Because I think we, cause we're the character. Yeah. Yeah. This is that. weird. Is somebody gonna like show up here? And Someone's just gonna like bop us in the yeah. head. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Fucking God. <laughs> Are you ever too shy to share your, your writing because you're afraid it's not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something that you put so much time into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just might as well. But if you find uh, other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of telling you that your writing isn't good, it's good or bad or okay, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to improve, continue improving. It's almost like having your own little little jerk club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I didn't have a choice. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out- Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something- Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You didn't- you deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a fucking catchphrase. This is when she morphs into the demon. <laughs> She's been caught. Her disguise is off. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, <laughs> stagnating air is calmly foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. <gasps> Stop! It's fucking three o'clock. I'm right. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I'm just freaking out. Oh god. Okay. Ugh. It's <laughs> your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sorry is in here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's <sighs> almost like everyone's balance is thrown off. A little while oh, she's not god. around. She went home and killed herself. Oh god, and look, look at the line in her coat. Yeah? Compared to that. Yeah. And that. Huh. Where the heck did- Oh, that's you. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. That's okay. That's okay, please show some decency. Shut your eyes. Say piss. Oh, come- <laughs> Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? Oh, she's alright. Seriously, all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Oh, no, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. <laughs> <laughs> that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. <laughs> Calm down, guys. I talked with her earlier. Everything's fine. What'd she say? She said she needed to figure. Anyway, we need. I asked you a question. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival pre preparations. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. You're gonna be licking my no, Natsuki will be making cup cupcakes, but we might need a but we might need a lot of some and a lot of different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I will be summoning the demon lord, the Cthulhu. <laughs> I'm going to be printing and assembling all the Hochi pamphlets. <laughs> Sayori will help. We need these little moments. Pamphlets. <laughs> Sayori will be helping me design them. Yeah, we do need those moments. Yeah. <laughs> As for Yuri. Throw some funny uh -huh. editing in there. I I will. I'm gonna like put some funny. Yuri, you can. Uh, um. Hmm? Guys, 
Can you help me with something for Yuri? I kind of... Uh, I'm useless. Jesus. I'm just gonna jump uh. out the window. <laughs> no, no. That's not at all. That's not at all. Damn, You're the most talented there. person here, you know. Mm. Now that Natsuki's pouting... Now that Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But I can also be a leader on my own. Then I won't... Uh, what? Oh, but if I can't be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri... You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about, about that. Uh, I hate atmosphere. <laughs> Yuri's expression. Yep. Oh, my Yuri's last. expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind's already racing, I see. That's great. It'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Captain. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact... Both Natsuki and Yuri are pretty a pretty heavy task to handle. It would probably go a long way f to give ha one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be I would really appreciate your appreciate that. You're printing things. You press a button. <laughs> Actually, you don't even have to press. You choose the number of copies you yeah. want. Uh, that's stupid of you. <laughs> Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with a lot of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a little bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Uh, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned... That you would like to handle the baking on your own? Bitch, shut your eyes. Capsin may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be freaking Detective Fury <laughs> over here. Freaking Monocle. Batman. <laughs> he may be more suited to assisting the, with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Capson to- What do you say? <laughs> it would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, it's- I think it's up to Capson to decide how I'd like to contribute. Damn right. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. Wait. Who said I wanted to? <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in- Not you? You literally just said- I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Captain, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Yeah, I know. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. Very well. <laughs> in that case- Everyone, Everyone looks straight, straight at me. Who the fuck do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. You guys made it sound like a lot of work, so you could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. I bet I will. <laughs> uh, just a minute ago, you were saying that. That's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you won't. You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Oh my all. god. <laughs> You're fishing. You're fishing right now. You're fishing Look for some Look at that tiny help. ear. Look at that. Look at that ear. I like small ears. <laughs> it's a quality I look for. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That's good. You <laughs> that's nice. That's huh? not what you say to that. <laughs> Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to mm, talk I'm about? I'm so happy. No, I, th I think that's... Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. <laughs> I don't think that really counts. 
What about you, Captain? What do you think? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. It's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Mm. Mm. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Mm. <laughs> Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And are you going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming? I mean, the cupcakes will probably help too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll I be really hate atmosphere. <laughs> That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Credit? He just pulls out a Glock, shoots herself. <laughs> pulls out a phone. I love credit, like on Credit Karma. <laughs> Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Uh, you, you didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. <laughs> Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about it, huh? <sighs> you know, I bet if I picked Yuri, yeah. she would have said something happy or whatever. Yeah. I'm, s I'm sorry for f being dumb. I'm gonna do my best, okay? It won't be good enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All of us are gonna make the a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. You went through like five places. <laughs> but with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so. Fair enough. Nothing's wrong with that, I guess. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> oh nowhere, baby. <laughs> uh, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. Our plans? You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact them. Oh, shit, this, oh, this poor daughter doesn't even have his di her digits yet. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me your number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. <laughs> Wait. Please send that to okay. me. I'm coming over <laughs> on Sunday. On Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean... I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I'd be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over to my house. My dad would kill me. Really? It's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Can't do anything if my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right, fine by me. Yeah, I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. <laughs> so you'd rather look forward to it. Oh, baby, I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to it. Oh, didn't you say you were going to just give me the dirty work? Mm -hmm. Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. But I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. It's a little just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... All right, I get it. I wish she'd stop questioning it when she yeah. says something like that and uh -huh. agree. Yeah. Because then they can just get on with it. Uh-huh. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh, never mind. Boy, can't believe this. Natsuki's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this handling her. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside oh. of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. 